let's close the door on 2020 and let's talk about what we're going to improve on on 2021. Hello guys and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Kylie. I'm so glad that you're here joining us today. Today's video is going to be a reflection on my 2020 goals and intentions and then I'm going to share my new goals and intentions for 2021. Let's get to it. As I was looking at last year's video and reflecting on my goals and intentions for 2020, I was just kind of reflecting also on the year and it was a year to say the least so i have some notes that i was taking as i was just kind of reflecting on my goals so i have them up right here if you see me looking down that's what i'm looking at so last year's goals i kind of set like a word to the year as well which my word was consistency i did not do so well with that to say the least. I guess I set that word to kind of set the tone for all of my goals and intentions and yeah, it did not do so well. I'm not going to like rate how I did. I'm just going to like briefly talk about some of them and I'm not going to go over all of my goals and intentions, but my first goal was to kind of get back in the gym and kind of just work out more overall and i would say i did pretty well with that during the pandemic my fiance and i moved a stationary bike into our apartment and so i was working out a lot more and i had the peloton app and i would just take a lot of peloton classes so i was working out a lot more over the pandemic i would say i did overall a lot better with that goal I did kind of fall off towards like the end around the holidays, but I would say overall I did pretty well. One of my other goals or intentions was to take my dog on more walks. And I think because of the pandemic, I did take her on a lot more walks. I think just with being home more and having more time. And also because we moved from being from our apartment to now where we're living in Maryland, we took her on so many more walks because of the area that we're in. It's just, we can take her on longer walks and we have been and she loves it so much. So I would say I did pretty well with that one as well. YouTube consistency. Well, I don't know if you're new here or <laughs> if you've watched a few of my videos or if you've noticed, I didn't do well with that this year. I would say because I just, Overall, I wasn't very inspired. There were a few months that I just didn't feel like filming. I was doing the same thing every single day. Every single day. So I just, I didn't feel like filming it. And I didn't want to post that to the internet because I just, it wasn't interesting to me. So I wasn't inspired for a while and I just, yeah, I I don't know if that's why I wasn't very consistent and that's my excuse take it how it is um, but now I'm feeling a lot more inspired and I think I'm in more of a routine now and I thrive on routines so I think I'm doing a lot better and I'm going to try a lot harder <laughs> so here we are and I'm holding myself to a different standard I think whenever I in the past have tried to give myself or have tried to like hold myself to a standard i have been like you have to post this amount and it has to look like a certain amount and i haven't done so well with that and now i'm like it's okay if you post once a week and as long as you post once a week that's more consistent than not posting at all so i think I'm just trying to give myself more grace and it's working. It's working for me. I'm posting more and here we are. So I don't know if any of that made any sense. Yeah, I didn't do so well with that goal, but we're going to work on it. It's, it's a new year and we're going to work on it more this year <laughs> and see where that takes us. My next goal was to find a wedding venue. And as of June, I think it was, yeah, I think it was June. 
We did find a wedding venue. I do have a wedding series coming up and I'm sorry that I keep saying that in like all of my videos, but I am working on it. Just know I'm working on it. And yeah, that should be coming soon. It's in the works. I just have to figure out a few things. All of those videos have been filmed. They are like filmed last year, technically but they're coming <laughs> and be really excited about it because i'm excited and i hope you're excited too and yeah more wedding videos to come if you're excited about that i'm excited so i did really well with that one <laughs> morning routine yeah so i think i write this one on all of my like goals because i just fall off the bandwagon with this one at the end of the year i don't know why but i always like don't have a great morning routine. I don't know. You know, you do so well at the beginning of the year with some things and then they just kind of trickle away and they just, I don't know. So this is actually a goal that I set for myself this year is to like develop a better morning routine. And I think it's because I am working from home now and I don't, I don't have my morning routine that I normally would have if I'm going into the office. Normally I would wake up, shower, get dressed, put on makeup, you know, walk to work, sometimes occasionally get a Starbucks. But now I wake up, change out of my PJs and sit in the office and work. So there's not much of a morning routine there. Overall, last year I didn't do so well. I mean, some of them I did really well, knocked them out of the park, but some of them I'm gonna still carry into this year. Because I don't think you just have to like close the door and be like, okay, I didn't do so well. I'm just gonna not do that anymore. So I will still think about the ones that I didn't do so well with and bring them into the next year. And I didn't do so well, but that's okay. I'm not gonna be mad about it. That's fine. We're just gonna reflect on it. And yeah, that's it. It's a new year. We can still improve. There's still room for improvement everyone's improving it's fine <laughs> so let's close the door on 2020 and let's talk about what we're going to improve on on 2021 as i was talking about my morning routine i just want to give myself more time in the morning and to go along with that i have another goal that i think is going to help i want to wake up to an alarm clock in the morning, like when I set my alarm. I am tired of snoozing my alarm and I have already tried this and it's not working so far. I don't know what I need to do. I think I need to set my phone across the room and just wake up when it goes off because I need more discipline in the morning and it's not working. If you have any tips, leave them down below. I would love to hear what you do to get up in the morning. I've become so bad at waking up in the morning and I've never been like this. I think I've just become so comfortable with it. I don't know, but I've been known now to wake up at 7.30, walk down and work. And I need to give myself more time in the morning. I love my me time. And I recently like have started doing my devotion in the morning if I have time, but then I recently haven't been giving myself time and I've been doing it at my lunch time. And then I'm like, I don't wanna eat and do my devotion at lunch, you know? So yeah, if you have any tips, let me know. Those are two that I'm trying to work on this year. Getting a morning routine, waking up on time because I wanna, I wanna get a good morning routine down. My next goal for this year is to not sweat the small things. So I am a very type A person and I like when things go as they're planned to go. When things don't go as planned, I kind of, you know, I get upset. So this year I'm trying to learn that it's okay that if things don't go as planned because that's life. Not everything is going to be perfect. I am, I'm dying just saying this. I'm such a type A person and like, it's fine. And I need to learn that. I've tried to find an example of like when things have like gone wrong and I've like gotten upset, but I like can't think of one that's like a good example. And it's literally the tiniest things. It could be like I'm at Chick-fil-A and they forgot my buffalo sauce. But that's not even a good example because like, like I don't even get upset about that. I'm like, okay, cool. 
Like, I'm, I'm literally telling you, like, I don't know what kind of circumstance it is that, like, I get upset about, but I need to learn that it's gonna be okay. And I wanna set this specifically for this year because this is the year of my wedding <laughs> and I don't wanna get upset if, like, something goes wrong. <laughs> I just wanna be able to enjoy the day and, like, not worry about it because at the end of the day, I'm still getting married to the love of my life and it's gonna be okay, like it's fine. If the napkins are not the right color or if there's not the right fork or if there's not enough cups for people, like it's gonna be okay, like it's gonna be fine and at the end of the day, like it's fine. I don't know, like I'm really trying to figure out like how to explain this, but I'm just a very like everything needs to be in its place type of person, so I just need to figure out how to loosen up a little bit i don't know you know what i mean maybe not but that's how i'm trying to explain it to you guys <laughs> okay so my next goal or intention for 2021 is to say no to more so will and i's families are divorced and so we have a lot of families that we have to see over the holidays or just see in general throughout the year and so that tends to become a lot sometimes especially for like birthdays or holidays or just events in general. And we say yes to virtually everything and not even just families, like our friends. Like we wanna see our friends a lot too. So we just, we love seeing, we're big family people. So we love seeing our friends, we love seeing our family. So we always say yes, we never say no. And we have learned over the years that you know on the airplane when they tell you to put your mask on before you help someone else? We have learned that. We have learned that it is important that we need to put our mask on before we help someone else because it has gotten very exhausting over the years because we just have done way too much. We've put way too much on our calendar. And yes, we have like a social calendar. <laughs> and I'm not talking like COVID times, but like we have been booked so many weekends in a row where we have felt just like so drained and exhausted because we have just been doing too much. So, and I know this is probably the wrong year to have this on my goals and intentions because it's the year we're getting married, but we just need to say no to more. <laughs> Sometimes it can just be very, very exhausting and you just need to be selfish sometimes and say no and it's so hard it can be so hard but it's important it's important to put yourself first for health reasons for mental reasons more than that i mean it's taken us a long time to realize that but it's really important for us to just have a weekend where we can just relax and decompress traveling can be exhausting <laughs> to say the least so Say no to more, <laughs> leaving it at that. Okay, my next one is to buy a house. Obviously the wedding is our top priority that we're focusing our whole time and attention on basically for the first nine months of this year. But towards the end of this year, we would like to buy a house if it's realistic. If not, that's okay, that's totally fine. We will figure it out, but that is a main goal hopefully for this year if it doesn't happen if it happens towards the beginning of 2022 oh my gosh that's so weird to say <laughs> but if it happens towards the beginning of next year that's fine too but we would love to be in a house by next christmas by this christmas oh my gosh by december maybe or thanksgiving we would love that just after we get married we don't want to move i guess during like September like when we're getting married, it's gonna be too much. I mean, I know the months like leading up to the wedding are gonna be hectic We're gonna be busy. There's a lot of events that lead up to the wedding the bridal shower the bachelorette bachelor party So there's just a lot going on around then so we don't want to be Touring houses and closing on a house and doing all of that. So maybe after the wedding <laughs> is fine like after the honeymoon, but hopefully maybe get a house but we're also fine if it happens the beginning end of the year like january after christmas and then next one is to read more last year during the pandemic i started reading a lot just because i had a lot of time on my hands 
those summer days whenever it was raining and I couldn't be outside or I just didn't feel like watching TV anymore. <laughs> So I think I set a goal on my Goodreads this year to read 20 books. Follow me on Goodreads if you're interested in seeing what I'm reading or if you want to keep up on what I'm reading this year. I will link it in the description box below. I'm really excited to try and reach that goal. I don't think I've ever read 20 books in a year. And I know that doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot to me. So it's something. And then my final goal or intention of the year is to do more self-care. So I just love those nights where I put on a face mask, drink some tea, and just have myself a night or do my nails or something like that. So I'm just really excited to just invest in myself a little bit more this year, especially with the wedding coming up. I wanna look my best, obviously. So do something that's considered self-care for me. And I'm really excited about this year. I'm really excited for what it has in store and i would love to know what you guys are planning on setting your goals or intentions for this year i'd love to hear them in the comments below and thank you guys so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye